Hello friends, welcome back to the shop. Today is Sunday, February 23rd, and the weather continues to be absolutely crazy here in southeastern Pennsylvania. This morning when I woke up, it was it was below freezing. It was in the 20s. Uh, the high today is going to be 54 degrees Fahrenheit. It's February. Uh, I'm just terrified of, like, blizzards in March. I... <laughs> Or June. Just been crazy. So I hope your weekend is going well. Um, before I get into anything else, before I forget, I, I got, we had something weird happen yesterday. The mail uh, is usually delivered by 2 o'clock uh, on Saturday. Uh, I checked at like 4 o'clock. There was no mail. And then this morning there was mail. So I don't know if they did a Sunday delivery or if it came really late last night. But in that was a very cool patch that I got. This is from uh, a fellow on Instagram named uh, Briar and Brew, I, I believe. I will put a link below to his Instagram account. Uh, he's a member of the military. He organizes this this event uh, with help from my friend Jose, uh, who is on Instagram. There's no pipes left behind. They uh, collected up pipes and tobacco and supplies uh, and sent them over to uh, the, the military in Baghdad, and uh, it, it's a great cause, and I'm very proud to, to have received this, this patch in, response, in return for, for my very small contributions. You know, as I said in my Instagram post, if you follow me there, uh, it, it, you know, what I did is so small compared to what these guys do every day, um, the sacrifices that they make their whole life uh, for us. So. Uh, when if it comes up again next year, I will uh, try to get more folks involved, if that's okay with the organizers, uh, and I'll let you know. So, uh, boy, it's been it's been a week. It's uh, it's been quite a whirlwind. I've I've been really really busy at work, and I've got so many pipes I'm working on, which uh, which is really cool. Uh, some of them are, um, you know, just like really detailed work, the kind of stuff I love. And, but, you know, it's just, I, I get up pretty early, so I try to get an hour in before I go to work, and then, you know, at nighttime, if I'm awake enough, I'll come down here for an hour, so it's just, it seems like it was just yesterday I was sitting down to make the last, uh, last of these Sunday chat videos. Uh, Friday, we had a great time, uh, Bearded Welshman was on the live stream, and, uh, it was a, it was a really fun interview, if you haven't seen it, please, uh, go, go check out the, the replay of that. Next week, we're going to have a, a couple from Oklahoma, Steve and Kathy Ennis, who uh, you may or may not know because they comment a lot on videos. But uh, please it, it, make it a point to, uh, to attend that live stream because I, I'm a little worried, to be honest. You know, up until now, these have been, I've been interviewing people that are known in the YTPC. What I really want to do is interview the folks that we don't know so that we can get to know them. And this is the first time that I'm going to be talking to somebody that's not a celebrity. Uh, so I'm hoping that folks turn out for that. Uh, you know, I really want to give them the opportunity to tell their story and give you the opportunity to get to know them. So this is a Stan Nowakowski pipe, which uh, was a gift from uh, Bona Piper. Thank you, Christian. And I am enjoying, if I can get my lighter lit, Some haunted bookshop. Uh, I know I'm supposed to smoke Virginia in this sort of a pipe. I just don't smoke enough Virginias, and I'm enjoying this pipe. Uh, smokes very well. I uh, I did a little bit of work on it. It had a stinger that, that I pulled off, uh, widened the airway just a tiny bit, um, and I also funneled the uh, the airway at the button. But I smoked it a few times before doing that, and it was fine. Uh, well, not with the stinger. I never smoked it with the stinger. But, uh, yeah, it was fine. Uh, I just like doing that to all my pipes. So, uh, But it's, yeah, I highly recommend uh, Stan Nowakowski if you can find a good, good pipe. So the main topic I wanted to talk about today as you noticed from the the uh, thumbnail at the beginning, 
is uh, an interesting one. So uh, I want to talk about thumbs down and uh, negative comments and things like that that happened on happen on YouTube, uh, and and not from any personal standpoint really, but I just want to talk about this because I know that there's a lot of guys just getting started, you know, maybe have just a few videos, and they're going to run into this. And I want to sort of talk about how I see it and hopefully help you guys with the way you see it. And uh, maybe you guys that are, uh, you know, making many more videos than that uh, could also benefit from, from thinking about this a little bit. So I, I've noticed a bit of a bump up in my thumbs down recently. No, it's not a big deal. Um, I typically, it's it, it's very common that I get one thumbs down on the video, and this is going all the way back to you know my first videos. Uh, so I've been doing this for I'm, I'm in my fifth year, and I've got over 350 some videos, and most of them have a thumbs down. And you know it's really easy to look at that and think, well, there's some guy out there that just is waiting <laughs> to hit that thumbs down button. But that's a little bit crazy to think. You know, it's it's crazy to think that it's always the same person. So that would mean that there was somebody that's been stalking me for, you know, going on five years just to click that button. And that that's, you know, I'd, I'd have to be a little touched to, to believe something like that. So what does it mean? Well, it means that occasionally somebody doesn't like the video. Um, maybe I say something that rubs them the wrong way. Maybe they just don't like the content. Maybe they think I'm boring. Maybe they think it's too long. You know, I don't know. But the way I view it when I see it is it's a sign of engagement. You know, they, they actually took the time to do it. And to me, that's as valuable as a thumbs up. You know, I, I actually like when I get thumbs down. Uh, now, please don't, you know. <laughs> I may have just made a mistake. I'm going to get, like, a record number on this video. Um... But when they when the, when the trend changes, and I'm not a big numbers guy, but you know that is something you see when you when you look at the video. When the trend changes and you, you, you know, go from one to four, you think well something's going on. I don't know what, uh, but I keep it in mind. Um, I don't worry about it. I don't read too much into it. I do wish that folks would send me a darn email. My email address is sitting there anytime you want to get in touch with me, whether you want to say something positive or something negative, I'd much rather you get in touch with me and tell me. You know, if I'm doing something wrong, boy, I'd like to know it and I'd like to fix it. But, uh, you know, otherwise, I just have to view that that uh, thumbs down the same way I view a thumbs up, which is someone took the time to do something after watching one of my videos. And that's a positive thing for me. Now, if, and this has never happened, but if I suddenly started seeing, you know, a, a ridiculous number, 20, 30, uh, who knows how many. I don't want to think about how many. <laughs> but if that happened, then I'd have to, you know, take a step back and, and sort of take stock. Because that's telling me that I'm doing something wrong. That I am uh, doing something that's sort of not aligned with the community that I am trying to be a part of. And that really is is, is I think, the bottom line of the message I'm trying to get across here. We're a community, and if somebody is unhappy with something I'm doing, I'd like them to come and talk to me, just like I'd like someone in my in, at my job to, to do the same thing, you know. But if uh, a lot of you feel that way, I want to know about it as well. And if the thumbs down is a mechanism for that to happen, then that's great. You know, so for that reason, I I don't live or die by them. I don't uh, get upset when I see them. I do look at them because I again I think it's sort of like a pulse of, of what's going on, uh, and I would never turn them off or block them from view or whatever because I think that uh, I think they're a valuable thing. I guess that's the bottom line. I really do think that the the thumbs down is a valuable part of YouTube. So just wanted to say that again not so much because I'm concerned about it but I wanted to share my view on it because I'm hoping that it would uh, you know help especially the new guys that might be running into some of this uh, just part of the game you know take it for what it 
what it is truly worth, which is honestly not very much. Uh, it used to be that a thumbs down actually helped you as a as a content creator because it was viewed as a sign of engagement by the YouTube algorithms. They don't do that anymore because people figured out that they could easily fake those things, and uh, you know. So now it's just it's just there. It's just decoration. But it is a way to sort of measure the pulse. All right, so news. Uh, shop news, I, do, I really, I'm just going crazy. I don't have any one thing I can point to to say, look at what I'm doing today. It's, it's just, I've got a lot of work going on. Uh, so I'm not going to give you a specific shop update. But I did, uh, God help me, I set up a Facebook page. And I'm, it, it's with great trepidation that I'm making this announcement. I have avoided Facebook for, well, ever. Um, I don't want to, yeah, I don't have a personal page, I just have a business page. I will not have a personal page. I do not want, you know, people I went to high school with liking something or, you know, I, I just want to keep those worlds separate. Um, but I do have a, a, a Cane Rod Pipes Facebook page. I'll link below to that uh, so you can, you can, uh, Go check it out if you're a Facebook person. If you're not, you're not going to really miss out on anything. I mean, it's going to... At the moment, there's almost nothing there. Just a couple of pictures. So so it's really not even worth your time. But, you know, if you're into that sort of Facebook thing, maybe you want to go and do whatever it is people do on Facebook to get notified when there's updates. For a while, it's just going to be what you're seeing here, what you're seeing on Instagram. You know, there's not going to be any new... You're not going to miss out on anything by not being on Facebook. Eventually, I'll probably be putting a bit more business type stuff there because that is really a business page. Um, so it might be a place where I, I might announce, uh, you know, a, a discount or, or a sale or something like that. Or if I've got like new stems because I, I sell like cob replacement stems, I'll occasionally when I have time make those. Those will go up on on Facebook. Um, so, you know, it's a place to sort of keep track of those kind of things that I'm either not going to remember to talk about in a weekly video or they'll be gone by the time I get to a, to a weekly video. So, ultimately, it might be a, a good thing uh, for the folks that are already on that platform. But, uh, like I said, I'm, I'm a little scared, to be honest, because I've avoided it for so long. Anyway, if you're of a mind to do so, please go check it out. Let me know what you think. Well, guys, um, I hope you found that discussion on uh, Thumbs Down useful. Uh, I, Like I said, I, I really just want to make sure that uh, the new guys are thinking about it in a, in a reasonable way. I, as I've said many times, now have a ton of work to do, so I'm going to get off and do that. And I'm going to let you guys get off uh, and enjoy the rest of your Sunday. I hope you all have a great week ahead. Don't forget the Friday live stream with uh, Steve and Kathy. I really hope to see a lot of you guys there because this is uh, this is an important one for us. This is the one that's going to tell us if this uh, format is going to really work in terms of getting the unknown folks into the into the limelight, if you will. So please join me on Friday at 8 p.m. Eastern, and you'll see later today. I'll put up the little announcement so you can click on it and get notifications and all that good stuff. Uh, like, subscribe, thumbs down if you want. <laughs> but I really appreciate your support and your comments, as always. So folks, again, have a great week. And until we meet again, I'll look forward to talking to you all again very soon. Goodbye now.